right, uh, let's look at the practice exam two, problem number seven. All right, so we are going to use the uh, log differentiation to find the derivative of this uh, following function. All right, all right. So first step is just uh, take the natural log of both sides. So uh, no derivative yet. So you have a natural log. So you have a natural log of the left hand side is just the natural log of y. Then you have a natural log of this uh, kind of uh, complicated expression uh, x to the 8 uh, cosine of th uh, cosine raised to the third of x. And then you have a square root of um, x minus 1. All right. So since uh, we have a convenient uh, log property, when you have a multiplication, so indicate, so this is a multiplication here, and there's a division there, right? So when you have a multiplication, we can split it as the addition. So we have a log, natural log of x cubed. So we have that. Then multiplication becomes addition. Then you have a natural log of uh, cosine cubed of x, right? And then if you have a division, it becomes the uh, subtraction. So you have a natural log of uh, square root of um, x minus 1, right? Then another uh, log property allows us to move uh, this um, uh, power. If you have a power here, you can place it in front there, right? Then you have a cube there, so you can three goes in front. And here uh, we have a square root. Square root is a one half power, so one half can go in front of the natural log. All right, so this is gonna be equal to, right? So we have uh, eight natural log of x plus three times natural log of cosine of x, right? Maybe I should put the parentheses here, right? And a minus, right? So you have a one half, right? Uh, then a natural log of uh, x minus one, right? So uh, we could simplify it this way. Then we take the derivative. So we just rewrote the uh, equation a little bit, and then uh, we're going to uh, take the derivative. So let's take the derivative uh, with respect to x. All right. So when you take the derivative of natural log of anything, all we have to do is uh, put whatever inside the natural log on the bottom, and uh, take the derivative, put it on top. All right. So we have that from the left hand side. If you take the derivative of the uh, the right hand side, right? So eight is a constant multiple, so I just put eight. All right, derivative of uh, natural log of x is one over x. So you have one over x here, All right? Plus, All right, three times derivative of natural log of a cosine of x is uh, you put the cosine of x on the bottom and take the derivative of that, put it on top, so it's a negative sine of x, right? And a minus, so you have a one-half, that's just a constant multiple there, right? Derivative of that would be, uh, put uh, x minus one on the bottom, so x minus one on the bottom, take the derivative, put it on top, which is just going to be one anyway, right? So we have that. All right, then last step would be, uh, we just have to multiply both sides by y, which is the original function, so that uh, we have just a, a y prime uh, on the uh, left-hand side. So we multiply by y, so we get the y prime, which is what we are looking for, All right? So I'm just gonna simplify the right-hand side a little bit. So I'm gonna write uh, eight times one over x as eight over x, right? So you have a negative sign and a three, so it's a negative three, right? Sine over cosine is tangent, so I'm gonna put tangent here, tangent of x, right? 
Then uh, you have, uh, we can't do much about it, but uh, I'll just put the two on the bottom maybe. So it's a one over and a two times uh, x minus one, right? Then uh, maybe I'll put the uh, uh, square bracket instead of a parenthesis. I already used the parenthesis there so that we don't get confused, right? And remember that we have to multiply by y. So we multiply both sides by y, but down here, I'm going to put the original function. So it's going to be x to the eighth times cosine cubed of x over square root of uh, x minus 1. All right? So that's the derivative. I know that it looks kind of ugly, but uh, this is the correct uh, derivative that we are looking for. All right, that's it. I hope that uh, this was clear.